gonna start out with an affirmation. Greetings, Cosmic Consciousness, Soul Control Family, and Soul Tribe. We're gonna start out with an affirmation. I am perfection manifests everywhere. If you are the perfection that's manifest everywhere, then what I mean by that is, the affirmation means you are the creator of your own reality and you take responsibility and accountability for it, then you can repeat this affirmation with me. I am the perfection manifests everywhere. I am the perfection manifests everywhere. I am the perfection manifests everywhere. And so it is, cause we ain't got nobody to blame, you hear me? Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and holiness to the cosmic consciousness, family, and soul tribe. I hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all, operating in the choice of higher version and radiation of your authentic self. As for me, I am feeling no good. <laughs> I am feeling good for no reason at all, pardon me. Operating in the truest, highest, and radiation of my true and best self. As for this moment, because I'm at the wheel. Are you at the wheel? Are you in control? Cause only you can do it. Um, we're going to start out with the Diane Cooper Archangel Oracle cards for the day. I'm not going to forget. Going to shuffle it a few times. with unconditional love and grace and it's funny it's not funny at all <laughs> it's not funny at all because I'm gonna touch on that give with unconditional love and grace see what the cow gotta say for us y'all bear with me Still weighing in his book. Cow, give with unconditional love and grace about cows. Cows originate from La Kume, the ascending aspect of Sirius. As fifth dimensional beings, they spread the unconditional love and divine feminine light of the great uh, light. Let me read, let me start over, pardon Cows originate from La Kume. They ascend the aspect of Sirius. As fifth dimensional beings, they spread the unconditional love and divine feminine light of the gold ray of the Christ. While cows are warm, benevolent, and nurturing their partners, the bulls are strong and protective. All right, y'all right, bear with me. <laughs> They offer a perfect balance of grounded, feminine, and masculine energy. Cows with their motherly, giving characters have for aeons graciously offered us their milk, which was originally in the golden era of Atlantis, perfectly calibrated to nourish us. Since then, many humans have eaten beef or taken milk without permission or appreciation. Although we have not always looked after them with respect, cows continue to serve us in the expectation that we will treat them with love and gratitude as we raise our frequency in the approach to the new golden age. Guidance. When you receive this card, you are asked to tune in to the comfortable, motherly, 
nurturing and stable aspects of your nature and balance it with the strong protective energy that is part of you. Your guidance is to center yourself and come into balance. 2022, balance and harmony. Make sure you are grounded at all times. And I repeat, at all times, make sure you are grounded. Examine your life and see how you can develop your feminine, giving, caring, and benevolent characteristics in a sensible, stable, and earth way. Then stand in your power and demonstrate that you can be true to yourself. Then stand in your power and demonstrate that you can be true to yourself. Recognize that you are truly lovable no matter how others treat you, no matter how others see you. That you are a unique and special being and have compassion for those who have less understanding than you do. I'm grateful to be loving and in, and in the frequency of grace. My name is Sawu. Give with unconditional love and grace. That's why I'm here. <clears throat> I'm glad I shuffled the cards and I didn't pre-pull doing this message because it's so sync in, in sync with the things that I that, that I'm gonna share. Iron sharpens iron. So I'm here to help us sharpen each other. And this is what I wrote down. Development, consistency, discipline. And our development for those who us are developing, however we are developing, and we all are developing, whether it's inwardly or outwardly. But in any development, it takes consistency. And then and through the consistency, we'll show how disciplined we are. So for those who are of us who are on spiritual journeys, you can't be spiritually lazy and think you're gonna get anything from God. You'll bust your ass in the world to make it happen for you, before you tap into the spiritual realms and actually be able to create and manipulate through the energies that move through us. Development, consistency, discipline. The other three words that I wrote down here. <laughs> Protect, nurture, nature. So, give unconditionally with love and grace. It spoke about protection. The cow spoke about protection. The cow spoke about nurturing. And the cow spoke about nature. Not only nature and wildlife and the things external of us, but it was speaking to our inner nature as well. Where do we, for those who, who see ourselves as protectors, where are we really protected from? For those who see ourselves as nurturers, where do we really nurture from? <clears throat> for those who are of us who contact nature, what is our nature when we are contacting nature? What are we emanating? Words hurt and words heal. We all are aware of that. So how are you going to use your words over your own life? Because we need to be in touch with our North Node Scroll. We need to be in touch with our North Node Scroll. What is our true North? If that term seems unfamiliar with you, go look it up. It will have something to tell you. North Note. What is your North Note? And with that, I'll say, it's better to be where you're guided than to stay where you're tolerated. One is toxic and one is not. If that's how you will know what you're building with. With that being said, it's always a good day 
above the clouds. It's an attitude. And we have to get ourselves there. And that place that we have to get ourselves to is called peace. Inner peace. <clears throat> Inner peace can do a lot of things for us, family. Inner peace is very powerful within and without. Because you can't have peace externally without peace internally. And what's so important about that is because we can think ourselves into anything that we want. <clears throat> we can think ourselves into anything that we want. But what I find interesting, what I find very enlightening, is that it's hard to get people to speak life over their own life and anything that got to do with our health more so. I find that very interesting. Almost something needs to be researched. Why is it so hard for us to speak longevity over ourselves? Because when it comes to catching a headache or a cramp or something, man, you, you, we'll go on for days about that. But when it comes to speaking something entirely different, it's foreign to us and it shouldn't be. Why is this important? Because if we who we say we are, <laughs> if we who really who we look in the mirror and tell ourselves that we are in our consciousness, then we should be able to see it in our daily lives. We should be able to see it in our attitude. We should be able to see it and what's going on with our health. We should be able to see it and what's going on with our emotions. We should be able to see it and what's going on in our mind. But where, where are we at when things are going on in our mind? If we who we say we are, our consciousness can affect our chemistry. But how much do we believe who we say we are? I say it again. If we who we say we are, our consciousness can affect our chemistry. I say all the time, speak, <laughs> speak life over yourself. Speak to yourselves. Now it's time to do that. Now it's time to tell a different story to yourself than what we used to tell in ourselves. Now it's time to tell ourselves something different. We ain't gonna worry about how hard it's been. <laughs> we gotta get in the development and the consistency <laughs> and build the discipline to do it and do it daily because your life on the line. Just like my life on the line. <laughs> Nobody says it's gonna be easy, but you get to show yourself what you made of. That's what I love about this journey because I recognize that it gets to show my it get it, I get a chance to show me what I'm made of. It ain't about nobody else. <clears throat> my purpose of having this living experience was about me having the opportunity to show myself what I'm made of in this thing that I call God, God body, being divine, not nobody else. <laughs> so all that competing, comparing, and and, and this and that, man, we would be we, we wasting our time in a lot of places, man, that if we, we really only know <laughs> the the higher ramifications, the higher mechanisms of things, we wouldn't even spend our time wasting our time on. Speak life over your life. Cause you at the wheel. Nobody can't nobody can't drive my wheel for me. So I gotta be at the wheel of my wheel. Um and all I do, family, I be trying to give us cheat codes. <laughs> I be trying to give us cheat codes through what I share. But in all I share, it's a car teach. So that means you gotta catch it to get it. You gotta catch it to get it. And to get it, 
might take a little work here and there. That's how the lineage been working with me, so that's how I'm gonna work with y'all. I'm just a vessel. Um, I'm just a vessel, I'm just a message. So in all I give, even if it's just this word, and all I give, even if it's just this word, it's on you what you do with it. It's on you what you do with it. I had a lot, lot of good words come into my life early. And I ain't always do the right thing by them. And the result of that was I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes in my life and I made a lot of mistakes in the lives of other people. <clears throat> Have you? The only difference is, or the only difference may be, that I'm honest about it. Um, more so, in my honesty to myself, about myself, and reflection, and reflection to other selves, I'm able to laugh at, about a lot of things that I couldn't laugh about before. My point is, you gotta be able to laugh at yourself, man. Do it all. You gotta be able to laugh at yourself. Show me a person and I'll show you a motive. Generosity is my generator. They, they go giving. I'm talking about giving. Generosity is my generator. It has no motive. What's yours? The reason I point that out is because so few people are willing to do anything without being compensated. I'm going to say it again. So many people won't do shit for you if you're not compensated. <laughs> so what does that say about those type of people? I say it again, Gener generosity <laughs> is my generator. Generosity is not only my generator. <laughs> generosity is my fuel to gratefulness. It's the giver in me. So y'all can thank my mother for teaching me how to share at an early age. And what I'm saying, I'm speaking to a form of selfishness <laughs> that's, that's roaming, <laughs> I'll say roaming the planet, <laughs> roaming the planet at a ferocious rate of frequency. So we need some healthy principles in our life, family. We need some healthy principles in our life. Especially principles better than the principles that, that got us up to the point that we are in life now. Because it's a lot of old, outdated beliefs that need to be done away with. A lot of outdated concepts that need to be done away with. Balanced principles correct imbalanced patterns. I'm gonna say it again. Balanced principles correct imbalanced patterns. We war not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and powers in high places. So what that tells me is when we find ourselves in the in the in the in the in the wrong frequency, energetic frequency of space. It's because the principles that might be behind what we're dealing with. Balanced principles correct imbalanced patterns. Our principles reveal our patterns. Many imbalances in our lives are due to principles that we adapted from birth until now. 
but what needs to change. Only each one of us know. This is a, this is, a, is an important time to realize, examine, analyze, re-examine, re-analyze ourselves honestly, brutally honest from the inside out. Because what's not transmuted, what's not dissipated, we still transmit. What's not transformed is still being transmitted. Only thing is, it goes unseen until we get triggered. And once we get triggered, everything that was going unseen has an opportunity to come out at us. That's when we get to see how much self-worth we gotta we still gotta do according to our response or our reactions to what we're experiencing. And this is why it's important that just like me. You gotta be able to laugh at yourself. <laughs> it's strange how we have no idea how we can how we can touch somebody's life and how we touch people's lives every day. Sometimes it ain't for us to know. And you don't have to be a doctor to save a life. But you do need to know you to save your own. <laughs> Only the healed are healing. But everybody healing, not healed. So you better know your sources because energy transfers. Love, light, clarity, activation, health, holiness, peace and power, family. Feel good for no reason at all. A pleasure to be here. I am Sabu the God. One.